Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I would like to show you how to configure a Devolo starter set and how to integrate additional devices, including slower devices, such as the WLAN 200 Plus, into your network. In addition, I will also show you how to integrate new parts that are to be additionally integrated into your network. Because that's still a problem. The city replaces, they are all already configured accordingly. But now let's say a used device from a neighbor who no longer needs it and you also want to integrate it, has to be specially inserted, i.e. integrated. And I will show you exactly that. He also needs a network cable. So, and now I'm going to show you how to proceed and connect the Devolo starter set. The starter set consists of two parts. Once out of the deal to 500 duo. And once from the Dell 500B how. You need for the installation. The Delano 500 duo. And you need a router. To this router. Do we connect the network cable? To a free LAN socket. The end. The network cable then goes into the WLAN 500 duo and it is then plugged into a socket near the router. We have now attached the network cable to the router and to the Devolo WLAN 500 and now we simply plug it into the nearest socket. And then we wait. So? The light is green. That said, here the adapter is ready. Oh. So now I plug the Wi-Fi adapter into the room where I want to have Wi-Fi. and wait for my lights to come on. That is, once the Wi-Fi lamp and once the network lamp. When both lamps are facing, the adapter is ready to start. We're still waiting for that. That always takes a moment. Usually between 60 and 120 seconds depending on how good the connection is. So, and now we'll see. Both lamps are on the adapter as ready. And I would say now only on your cell phone or laptop or wherever you want to be connected. Find the Devolo adapter. Enter the password. By the way, the password for the configuration is down here on the adapter. The password is stored on each adapter Wi-Fi adapter. That gives you then and then it should work. So, and now I'll show you how to configure other things on the computer. Now I booted up my PC. And I can now either through Google Chrome or through Firefox. Did Volo Cockpit mean looking for the software in moderation, in this case in Firefox? But it doesn't matter what you take, the main thing is that you find it. Devolo. And there we have it. Cockpit. Then he goes here to downloads. The Volocopter Devoloc. And now you can choose, either for your Mac, for your Windows system or for a Linux system. I use Windows 10, so I'll take Windows. Now a registration opens here. But that could be easy to do, you don't have to do it at all and the download will start anyway. Then. Direct. He asked me to allow a pop-up. Okay. So, and then comes the Download file Devolo Cockpit. Of course I've already downloaded it. As I said, the server is relatively slow. It takes a while, though. It's not that dramatic. Whether it takes a minute or whether it takes three minutes. So, I'll close the window again now, because I've already downloaded the file. 
cancel download. So here on my desktop. Do you see? Here I have it. Devolo cockpit. Or rather, the link would have to be installed beforehand, of course. After that you have the shortcut here on your desktop if it allows it. So we open the file. So here I have all my Devolo adapters that I have now configured in-house. If you now wanted to add Demolo adapters, then you have to do the following. You go here and click the Add button below. Then a small pop-up window opens here again where you will also be shown exactly how to set it up. The easiest of all, this is how I always do it is when the below or you simply add the new PLC grid by entering the security ID clicks on this field. Then he opens another window. And on everyone. This security ID is written on the back of the adapter, which is similar to that of a WLAN adapter or Wi-Fi. With the WLAN 500 Wi-Fi adapter, this is exactly the same number as the WLAN number, the device number that he has to enter so that he can register you with the WLAN. So, the number gives you a yes. And then you put the we could also put in earlier. Doesn't really matter. Simply plug the adapter the new one that you have just bought, into all sockets in your system. Enter this security ID and then press down here. OK. So, that's what I'm going to do now. One moment. Now I will enter the security ID code. Make sure each number is uppercase or lowercase. However, it is usually always capitalized. The FKK. It's funny too. Oh. So, now I have my security code here. Then he plugged the new adapter into a power outlet. And after we've done that, you just press. OK, it should normally appear after a very short time if the code is entered correctly. Lo and behold, there he is. The new code. The new code for. The new adapter. You can do that. With what do I know how much? So, I have here now. 1,234,567. Believe in my home network. So that can be expanded accordingly. It's also important that you have a 500 here. I would say, directly at the helm. I said that before and not here in 200 at the helm because then he can only manage a maximum of 200 megabits. So, I can now show you what else you can do. For example, you can go here and name the adapter whatever you want. Franz, Fritz, Joseph Egal from the forest behind the forest. I called myself the main switch because I always have the 500 duo directly at the helm. You can also reset the device to the delivery status here if you want to sell it or give it away. The manual for each device is then also directly available. With the DLAN 500 Wi-Fi, do you still have the following option? You still can. Configure the grate. Now with WLAN it would have to be configured, for example, to assign your own WLAN password. Well. On the configuration page you have an overview here. The status overview of connected WLANs is secured via WLAN status connected on off. Furthermore, device configuration can be set to devices, security, network settings, WLAN settings. You can assign passwords there, but you don't have to do everything. You can set the date and time to manual or automatic. Show LEDs. Is it possible to turn off the LEDs? You can play there if you really want to, and you don't have to try and tinker.
Let's get to the WLAN configuration. You can go here for example. And you can enter the SSID. This is practically the name that appears when your Wi-Fi network searches. Here you can enter your name individually. Applied Volo can also devolonize the thing or however you want. It is important for you to know that. Now, if you take that attitude here, that all of us. WLAN adapter in your network automatically adopted this set, which will appear in every room where your WLAN adapter. Will this side Devolo appear in my case? Yes, in your case just what you enter. Alright, let's get to the. How many keys can you enter the how many keys here? In my case here Devolo test DPA. I would definitely recommend WBH2. This is currently the best encryption method. And so are you. Naturally. In the obligation to enter your password accordingly. Um. Then we have another guest. Access can be set up. Then I have the option in the WLAN filter to only let in the devices that I want, i.e. my devices. If I'm afraid that someone might crack my password or might know it, I can hide it and really only allow those devices that should really only be active in the network. I can enter a parental control with a time limit, that is. For example, I can tell the children that you only play from the evening, afternoon, 5 p.m., when you have done your homework, until 8 a.m. or go to bed. And as long as the Wi-Fi works, only then can you also switch off WLAN completely because of radiation and so on and say what do I know at night or do I sleep? I don't want that and could turn it off completely. So also a great thing. Joe and then we have the BBS setup here again, which you can only get in via BBS. So there are a lot of options here. Yeah. Then we have the administration, where you can update the firmware, which means you go to the manufacturer's website. And download the firmware first, then click browse here. Select the file you downloaded and play the updated version onto your adapter. Then we still have. We can reset the configuration completely. We can save the configuration that we have now or that we have worked out. That if you have a new adapter or something, you just have to upload it. Yes, you can restore the configuration. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the hiring here. I hope I could help you. You had success with my video in your settings via thumbs up and in the subscription. I would be very happy about that too. And then I would say until my next video. Take care. Ciao.